Did you know that it's safest for children to stay in their rear-facing child car restraint for as long as they fit in it? Young children have large heads and weak necks, which can put them at risk of serious injury in a crash. Rearward-facing child car restraints provide the head and neck support that a child needs to keep them safe. That's why we recommend that children should use their rear-facing child car restraint until they outgrow the maximum size limit. But how do you know when your child has outgrown their rear-facing child car restraint? It's easy. All child car restraints come with shoulder height markers. These give you a clear visual sign of whether the child car restraint is in the correct one for your child's size and when they are ready to move up to the next stage. If you're using a capsule, your little one can remain rear-facing until their shoulders reach the height markers. Capsules only display one height marker and that is to indicate when your little one is ready to move into the convertible child car restraint. For rear-facing child car restraints, you'll notice that there are two or sometimes three height markers displayed on the fabric of your child car restraint. If your child's car restraint only displays two height markers, your child must turn forward facing when their shoulders reach the first height marker. If your child is using an extended rear-facing child car restraint, you will notice that there are three shoulder height markers. Your child can continue to travel rear-facing until their shoulders reach the middle height marker. This gives you the option of keeping the child rear-facing for much longer, up to approximately two to three years of age. When using an extended rear-facing child car restraint, you may notice that your child's legs are bent, scrunched up, or that their feet are touching the back seat. This is perfectly okay. Kids are far more flexible than adults and will be able to find a position that is comfortable for their legs. Shoulder height markers can sometimes be hidden under the headrest or padded insert when you first purchase or use the restraint. As your child grows, adjustments are made to the child car restraint and the height markers become visible as the headrest or harness straps are raised. Make sure you've taken out the infant padding insert before checking where their shoulders sit against the height marker. By following these tips, you can be confident that you're not moving your child into the next stage too early and that you're keeping them as safe as possible on every trip. For more information and advice on child car restraints and safety, please visit kidsafevic.com.au or the manufacturer's website.